What's up guys, in today's video I'm going to be taking you guys through the best meta and OP players in each position from goalkeeper to striker in EAFC24 for their coins. Now we have cards at a low budget, medium budget and high budget, all that are the best for their value at the moment in the game. If you do find this interesting and helpful, please make sure you've dropped a like and subscribed and if you're also interested in my other content on my channel such as how to make coins in EAFC, you might be interested in the brand new Manzanosis Premium Discord server. Just a quick shout out if you're interested. Make sure you drop down into the description down below, join the Discord server and send me a friend request. From then on, we will get you into the Premium server for a very, very cheap price. But again, let's start off by getting into the first position of today's video, which is going to be the goalkeeper position, the best ones for their price. So let's get straight into it. Now, before we get into today's video, if you're looking to get some very easy coins, there is no better place than the new channel sponsor, U4GM. Head over there to get yourself some fast, cheap FC24 coins, completely safe and reliable. And if you use code MANZA at checkout, you'll get yourself a 10% special discount until the 10th of October. Link can be found in the description down below. Okay, so starting off with the goalkeeper position, there's two main cards which I have for you guys. The first one is going to be Nick Pope. Now, Nick Pope is coming in at a relatively cheap 5,100 coins on the market, which is really, really good value for this card. It's such an OP card, obviously, since they've updated his price range, he's gone down in price. Now, why is this card so good and why do I recommend him so much? First of all, chemistry links. He's English from the Prem. You can't get much better chemistry than that. Second of all, he's six foot six, which allows him to be very, very good in goal. We know that tall goalkeepers are the meta in FIFA and we've always known for a few past FIFAs now that Nick Pope is incredibly good. So with it being EAFC 24, I doubt much has changed. Now, I'm not going to go into too much detail on every single card. As you guys can see, good attributes all around. He's a very good all-rounded player and just plays really, really well in game. Now, moving on to the second goalkeeper I recommend for you guys, it's going to be the PSG goalkeeper, none other than Donnarumma. Now, with a little bit of downgrade this year from last year, but he is also 6'5", so similar height to Pope. I think if you guys are getting a goalkeeper in the game anyway, they need to be sort of 6'2", 6'3", above minimum. So, Donnarumma is coming in on the market at around about 15,000 coins. Again, he has good links with that PSG links. You can enter him into teams with sort of, you know, you've got all the PSG women's team that will get a strong link to him that have some OP cards and obviously the entirety of the PSG men's team and we'll see some players who you'll be able to link with him later on in today's video. But yeah, 15,000 coins for Dunaroma. Very, very safe card. 6 for 5. Incredibly good stats on this card. It's just a really, really OP card, especially considering he's only 15k. But they're the two goalkeepers I have to show you. Now let's move on to our centre-back choices. Okay, so now we move on to centre backs and here I have five different cards for you guys and we're going to go through them in price ascending order. So starting off with the cheapest, we're going to get to the most expensive. Starting off, we have Sal Coco. Now this guy has really pretty poor links, which is part of the problem with him. However, he is still from the La Liga. So if you do need a card, they are able to link. You can get this guy from La Liga. So La Liga links does sort of put him in a usable position now he's six foot two and what stands out to me about this card is the fact that he has 83 pace so for this those of you that are on a very very low budget just trying to build a starter team again you're not going to get much out of the the nation links for him but you'll get some out of the spanish links so if you're building a la liga team and you need a cheap card a cheap op card this sal coco is a perfect example he comes in on the market at literally 800 coins so with him being six two and especially having that 83 pace stat He's going to be really, really good. Really good high sprint speed with good acceleration is mainly what we need on a centre-back at the moment. So, very, very nice again. Paired with that lengthy playstyle, he should be really, really good in game, especially coming in at 800 coins. Now, we have Van der Ven as our next choice. Now, this card has dropped a lot in price recently. He's around about 10,000 coins. Again, if you guys are interested in market analysis, this is definitely the channel for you and how to make coins. So, make sure you're dropping a subscribe. Also, if you're interested in the Manzanos Premium Discord, drop in the comments down below, let me know. But Van der Ven, he's coming in at 10,000 coins with 85 pace. Again, we know pace is huge on these cards. Six foot four, Premier League links, Dutch links, Premier League, you can't get much better than that. Sprint speed is absolutely incredible on this card at 91. Very, very good. And he's also got good defending and physical stats. For a card coming at only 10,000 coins, again, lengthy acceleration type, he's going to be really, really overpowered. Next up, we do have Mappy Leon. Now, this is the only woman that we've got in this centre-back partnership and it's hard not to include her with her defending and physical stats being a combined 90 and 81. As you guys can see, this is a very good all-round card. Her lowest overall stat is 74 rated, so you don't actually have to play her. You know, you could push her on into CDM in game if you wanted to, but as a centre-back, she's still got good pace on her with 75 pace, means she's a very good all-rounded card. She's 5 foot 7, which is the only small negative about this card is she is quite small. However, the defending and physical stats make up for that as she's still able to be a good centre-back option. Coming in on the market around about 30,000 coins, she's very, very good for her value. 
Next up, we're going to have a bit of a more expensive card in the fact that we have William Saliba here. Now, William Saliba is coming in on the market at 52,500 coins, and I can understand why. Six foot four, absolute beast. Again, high acceleration and sprint speed, similar to other cards we've seen. Defending and physical stats are out of this world. French links obviously is going to boost this card, especially playing for Arsenal with Premier League links as well. No wonder this card's going to be up in price as a result. But again, six foot four. 82 pace, absolute go. Coming in at 52,000 coins, lengthy acceleration type, a very, very safe buy. And then finally, you guys have already seen, we do have Edda Militao. 85 pace on this card makes him one of the quickest centre backs in the game. Sprint speed and acceleration are out of this world. However, his price is also very expensive 150,000 coins. So you are paying for what you get. But this card's been a goat in recent FIFAs, and I'm sure he will continue to be awesome in this FIFA. Controlled, lengthy play style. Absolutely insane defending and physical stats. Very, very good jumping stats as well. Going to be very, very good in game. Perfect links with Brazilian and Real Madrid. But there you go. They are the five centre backs which I would recommend are the most meta and OP for their price at the moment in the AFC 24. Now let's move on to our left and right backs. So now we move on to our four back positions. Now, first off, we're going to do right backs. So, right wing back Jeremy Frimpong. Now, this is honestly pretty much one of the best right backs in the game or is the best right back in the game as well as the other player I have now that's obviously why we're showing him 94 paces almost second to none you can't really beat this card 96 acceleration 92 sprint speed that's an end game pace level card for this player now obviously it's not an end game card because his defending and physical stats do let the card down just a little bit but he's actually very good on the ball with 91 agility and 90 balance he's gonna be very very good on the ball and we don't need him to be too physical again being five foot seven he's not going to be extremely physical but he's definitely going to be good as a right wing back now the reason why i say right wing back is because this card actually has pretty good stats going forward with his drilling and his pace and his passing is decent as well so being able to sort of win the ball with your center backs play it out wide for impongs a perfect card to be able to push on with again dutch links bundesliga are very very good this year now he comes in on the market at a pretty cheap price of eighteen thousand coins so very very good value for money now next up we have a much more expensive right back in carl walker again this price comes in at 115,000 coins currently at the time of me recording this now that is probably boosted due to the fact he's prem prem height obviously causes these cards to get boosted manchester city links as well as english links is very very good now his acceleration type is most mostly lengthy so obviously very nice six foot as well high high work rates an absolute beast of a card brilliant total sprint speed with high acceleration as well Good defending, dribbling, passing, physical. This car is just all around very, very good and very, very safe option. I don't think he's going to go down in value anytime soon. So a very safe option if you're looking for a card maybe that you're going to use for your teams in champs next week. Very, very good value for coins. Now, next up, we have our cheaper left-back version. Now, five-star weak foot, four-star skin, which this card is absolutely insane. She is Hullet Gang with all stats above 80. It's absolutely mental. Five foot ten. Good links as well with the Barcelona links. You guys can see her card is absolutely insane. And the fact this card is 32,000 coins to me just seems absolutely crazy. She's absolutely insane in game as well. I have used her personally. Very, very good card. She's 5 foot 10 as well, so not too small to be a left back. You know, we got Frimpong as well, who's smaller than her. So she's just really, really good in general. And a card that I would definitely recommend you guys are getting. Then on our final left back position, we do also have Ferl and Mendy. Similar, 4 star skill moves, 5 star weak foot. Again, similar to Rolfo. Both of these cards are very, very good. High, high work rates on both of them. 5 foot 11 on Mendy. Good pace, good physical, extremely good physical on Mendy. High jumping, high stamina, very, very nice. Good agility and balance as well for a four back. And he's going to be able to win that ball well and just help you guys push on. I'd also like to give an honourable mention to Alfonso Davies coming in at around about 55,000 coins. That's also a very good card, extremely high pace and definitely something you guys should also look into as well as Mendy. Now, let's move on to our centre mid positions. So now we move on to our CDM and centre mid position, which I've selected three cards all at different price ranges for. First of all, we are going to have Chow Many. Now, Chow Many has incredibly good links, and this is what I want to put high preference in if you're trying to fit him into your team. He's only 6,000 coins on the market, which is incredibly, incredibly cheap. Controlled lengthy acceleration type as well, which is always good. Medium high defensive work rate. Six foot two is very, very OP. And as you guys can see, this card's base stats don't look that good, but he is incredibly, incredibly good in game. And for only 6,000 coins with French links as well, as well as the Liga links, you know, this guy likes to, links to the like of Ferland Mendy, other players from Real Madrid. Again, this guy's going to work with so many players. Ellen Militao, Ferland Mendy. I mean, you could talk Vinicius Junior if you have loads and loads of coins, but just a very, very good card that will work very well in the game at the moment. Again, he can play centre mid or CDM, so that's very, very nice. Pretty good stats overall. Again, he feels better in game than what he shows on his generic card. But coming in at 6,000 coins is a very good cheap option. 
Now we go up to our medium price range where we have Marcus Lorente. Again, this card is actually a right mid. However, as you guys can see, he's very, very versatile and can play right back, centre mid or right wing. For the sake of this, we are going to want him to play playing in centre mid. Now, why do I think this car is so good? Just look at his first stat. 89 pace on a centre midfielder is absolutely crazy in this stage of the game. And we know Marcus Lorente is a very, very good all-round card. He's nearly Hullet Gang as it is very, very close. So all of his stats are very, very high. Brilliant stamina on the card. Extremely good acceleration and sprint speed with high agility as well. This card is absolutely insane. The only thing we're lacking in maybe is we could have four-star skill moves, which is what we want. But at six foot with a four-star weak foot, you'll feel very comfortable with this guy in that centre mid just to hold down the four in midfield. Then... Last up, obviously, Lorente comes in at 22,500 coins, so in that medium budget range. Last up, coming at 84,000 coins, we have none other than Jude Bellingham. He has that four-star skill move that we're talking about. All three options here are going to be from the centre mid, so you could pair up, like, Chalmany and Bellingham, where you could have two of these cards in your centre mid. You have four-star, four-star on Jude Bellingham. Very, very good. Again, similar sort of thing that you want from a centre mid, where all the stats are very, very good all round. So it's a very nice all round card. Brilliant links, being able to link with many Prem players as well through that English nationality, as well as having the Liga links. High, high work rate, six foot one. Heard position, obviously you can only play him in centre mid, but that's fine. Some nice play styles on this guy as well. Physical play style plus. This guy's absolutely crazy good. But yeah, they are my three positions or chooses that I have for the CDM or centre mid position. Now let's move on to our left and right mids. On to our left wingers, right wingers, right mids and left mids then. Now I've got five cards for the left mid and right mid position. A lot of them can actually play on the opposite side. Diaz isn't one of them though. Now this card obviously has Premier League links being that Liverpool. So you can easily fit him in a Prem team. I know lots of people are running Prem teams at the moment in the game. Skill moves we have four star. Weak foot we have four star. So he's going to be very, very good in that department. Coming in on the market at 36,000 coins. He isn't too expensive. Again, good acceleration, good sprint speed. I see this card depreciating in value soon as well. So it's a very, very good card that you guys can pick up ready for your weekend league, especially if you're on a cheaper budget. Now, a more expensive left winger is actually a card that I do have. As you guys can see, I play this card left wing. He's absolutely insane. Skill moves four star, weak foot four star, and he's six foot two, which means he's not going to get shoved off the ball very easily like other wingers. Coming in on the market around about 150,000 coins. This card's very, very OP. Yes, there is a little bit of difficulty getting him in with them. Syria, Portugal, links, but it's not too bad. Again, he can play lots of different positions as well. You can play him in a left mid if you want to play 4-4-2. I know lots of people are running the 4-4-2 so far this year. Very, very high pace on this card with extremely good agility and balance. Very high dribbling stats on him as well. And like I say about that physical, he doesn't get shoved off the ball easily. He's also got a good ball control play style there as well. So he's very, very good. There are two left wing positions. Moving across to our right wing, we start off here with Moussa Diaby. Now, there's not really a good cheap right wing option until we get sort of Diaby, I feel. And the reason why Diaby is so good is because the meta in this year, sadly, is sort of sweaty goals where you're running all the way down the line and sweating it in for your centre forward or striker to finish. And Diaby does this perfectly with having 95 pace. Again, extremely good pace. He does have four star skill moves. A little bit lacking in the weak foot department, which I think holds this card back a little bit, which is why he's only 54,000 coins. And I see this card sort of fluctuating in between 45 and 70,000 coins over the next couple of weeks. I don't think he's one that's going to depreciate in value extremely fast. But having extremely high agility and balance, some of the highest we've seen so far in today's video, this card's very, very good on the ball. And that means he's very, very good at running down the wing. Moving on then from him, we do have Dembele. Now, Dembele is very, very expensive. He has 218,000 coins. He's actually in the wrong order. But Dembele, 94 acceleration, 93 spin speed. Again, we know Dembele is 5-star, five 5-star, five which is part of the reason he's so expensive. French links again with that PSG links as well coming in. Very, very handy if we're using this card. He's 5 foot 10. Very, very good. There's not too much that needs to be said about Dembele. Agility and balance is ridiculous. Dribbling is ridiculous. Pace is ridiculous. Five star, five stars, ridiculous. This card's insane. 220,000 coins on the market. Definitely a card you guys want if you're in your teams if you can afford or something you can work towards fitting in. Now, last of all, we do have Diani. Now, again, Diani's a bit of an underrated card, although she does have lots of hype so far this FIFA. Four star, four star with five, six means she's very, very good on the wing. Just one of them quick sort of wingers that's difficult to get the ball off of. High, high work rates. And you guys can see from her stats, overall, she's just a really, really well-rounded player, especially when it comes to attacking. And she does have decent physical as well. 84 strength means she's not really going to get shoved off the ball. So having 89 pace, 85 shooting, 83 dribbling, 83 passing makes this card work very very well again we've got some nice play styles on her she's controlled explosive acceleration type so obviously that's good for a winger a very very good card coming in at around about 120,000 coins now let's go on to our final position of today's video which is going to be the center forward and striker where i've got th four cards to show you guys 
So now we move on to our last position of today's video, obviously the centre forward and striker position. Starting off, we do have Dan Juma. Now, Dan Juma is pretty cheap coming in at the market of 5,700 coins. Very, very good. Now, why is this card so good? Evolutions. You guys can use this card in Evolution, get him up to an 83 rated card, which is very, very OP at the moment in this stage of the game. He's very, very good. Four star, four star, high medium work rates, five foot ten. Good agility, good balance. There's not too much that needs to be said at this card, except for the fact he's cheap and good links with obviously being Dutch and Prem. Next up, we have Kolo Mwani. Kolo Mwani, again, leveling up a bit in price, comes in at 28,000 coins. This card, 6 foot 2, it's just what you need. Again, he's OP from corners, which is what we like this FIFA. Really high jumping stats, 89 jumping stats with good heading accuracy as well. This card's going to be very, very OP. Good dribbling on the ball as well for someone that is so tall, being 6 foot 2. Nice pace on him as well. He can play centre forward as well if you need him to play centre forward. But like I say, 28,000 coins. He links to your other sort of um, PSG players. If you can't afford someone like Mbappe, for example, you could get Kola Moani, link him up with Dembele or some other PSG cards that I've shown so far in today's video. But yeah, a really, really nice card. Very, very cheap for what you get out of him, I think. So yeah, Kola Moani, 28k. Next up, we have special card Openda. Now, this is a bit of a wild call from me, but I could see this card getting upgraded a little bit further. So we might be able to see this card go up to four-star skill moves because at the moment, having three-star skill moves does hold this card back a little bit. He has exploded in price from low 200,000s up to 282,000 coins. So if you're looking to buy this card, I'd wait a little bit longer. We'll see a price close to 200k again. But... Why do I think this card's so good? Well, he's upgradable, and that's what we really like. He's upgradable if Leipzig do well in the, obviously, in the league. He will go up. So, centre forward striker, you can play him either of them. High pace on him, high dribbling, really, really high jumping stats as well. Jumping stat 97. With this card being 5'10", again, yes, he's not that tall, but 92 heading accuracy, 97 jumping. He's really, really OP if you can get him on header. Again, 3-star skin was the only negative of this card. Apart from that, he's absolutely OP. And then finally, we have none other than Mbappe. Not much needs to be said about Mbappe. Ridiculous card this year. Ridiculous price as well. I think he's overpriced. 3.2 million is ridiculous. Five-star skin moves, four-star weak foot. Acceleration type, mostly explosive. 97 pace, nine shooting, 92 dribbling. Incredibly good jumping, incredibly good stamina. Agility and balance is out of this world. Attack positioning is out of this world. Finishing is out of this world. He's incredibly good on the ball. Not much needs to be said. But anyway, that is going to be all for today's video. I really hope this has shown you the best meta and OP cards in all of the positions in the AFC. Again, if you want to make coins, join the premium Discord server. Hit me up down below. And apart from that, that's all from me. Make sure you're dropping a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.